In the past few decades, oil and gas industry were labeled as one of the most important global industry, where the sector is likely to foster the worldwide economic and social developments around the globe. Oil and gas have become the world's most important source of energy and widely utilized in modern life. Its products mainly supply energy to generate electricity, provide transportation fuel, generate feedstock for chemical, plastic and synthetic materials, and many more. So, numerous advances in technologies for exploration, well drilling and completions, and oil production have been implemented in this sector throughout years in order to sustain and fulfilling the needs. Hence, oil and gas industry consistently attempts and revise the plan and strategies to validate the oil and gas productions eternally. Well completion is one of the crucial steps in making an oil and gas well ready for commercial production. There are two types of well completions which are open hole completions and cased hole completions. Perforation is the final stage in well completions. However, perforation is implemented on cased hole conditions only. So, what is perforation? After well is drilled, it is necessary to make a connection between the well bore and the near reservoir so that production can be pumped out. This process is called as perforation. Wells are perforated using a high energy shaped charge explosive which are held in a perforating gun. The perforating gun is lowered into the well and shoot multiple holes through the casing and the cement shift into the producing zone. The hole is called as perforation channel and provides a pathway for fluid to flow from the reservoir to the well bore. Perforating gun come in different sizes and can be run with different perforating techniques. Either through casing gun perforating or through tubing gun perforating TTP or tubing conveyor perforating TCP. However, the selected perforation techniques are depending on the well condition. When the well is overbalanced, which is the pressure inside the well bore is greater than the reservoir pressure, casing gun perforating are preferred when perforating overbalanced. Meanwhile, if the well is underbalanced, which is the pressure inside the well bore is less than the formation pressure, a tubing conveyor perforating TCP system or through tubing gun perforating TTP system can be implemented. So now let's focus on tubing conveyor perforating TCP. Tubing conveyor perforating TCP technique is widely used in most producing areas. One of the outstanding features of TCP technique is that the system allowed to perform a flow test immediately after perforating. This is a typical tubing conveyor perforating gun, and here are the arrangements of the TCP gun in a well. TCP gun is positioned vertically on the end of tubing. Firing head system are set overhead of the TCP gun. On top of the firing head is the TCP accessories, and packer is attached above the TCP accessories. Now let's move to TCP working principle. Please keep in mind that perforation only takes place after casing is being installed and cementing job of well is done. Wire line logging tools, gamma or neutron logging tools are lowered into the well to evaluate and determine the depth of producing zone. The assembly of tubing conveyor perforating gun is now lowered into the well until reach the target depth and sensor parts of the gun strings help the gun to be accurately positioned in front of the targeted reservoir zone. The charges of the gun is ready to be ignited and the guns are then fired. The detonations establish a hole between the reservoir and the well bore. Now the well is perforated. The perforating gun is then pulled out of the well. And last, the fluid reservoir flows into the tubing and goes up to the surface. Hello everyone. Okay, let's move to the next subtopic for tubing convict perforation. That is accessories of TCP. Okay, first of all, we have XXP 
PV Automatic Production Valve Okay, the production valve synchronized to open as soon as the perforating gun starts to operate uh, the valve provides all the features of conventional production valve and it is also uh, designed to open aut uh, automatically as soon as the gun uh, start to run, start to operate Okay, next for is next second is fill up valve Okay, uh, the pressure operated fill up valve is needed to be unlocked to the analyst allowing the tubing to fill up while going down using the uh, uh, other name that is FLUP for the fill valve save a lot of time because every of the stand of tubing does not have to be filled with the liquid that comes from the surface moving on to the third accessories that is pressure operated under balance valve POUV Okay, this valve is operate in compilation uh, when it is necessary to pressure up the tubing to set packers and linear hanger. Uh, POUV uh, also works uh, between the packer and the firing head of a tubing uh, of the TCP system. Uh, this valve is keep uh, is to keep the tubing string to be closed until it's open until it is time to open the valve and set up and under balance condition. The fourth one is drop bar triggered search valve, which is TTRV for the acronym. To be or red hole pressure operator valve, it is used with TCP, uh, TCP to separate the red hole from the tubing. The valve also can be run in the red hole pressure uh, mode or tubing pressure mode without uh, any help of an, uh, of any modification for the valve. This operating mode can be replaced at any time given following the perforating strings is in the hole. Uh, uh, and the fifth one, the debris security sub accessory. Uh, this accessory is consists of ceramic cone that seated in the protect sub uh, that is positioned between the packer and the guns. <laughs> The debris secreting sub for heavy movement or large amount of red piece, uh, which is sometimes it consists of large amount of debris in this accessory. The sixth one is large shot detection system. Uh, this is a, a system which uh, is a system work to make sure that all all to be convert on convert perforating gums have been fired from the top shot to the bottom shot. And the last one in the accessories is explosively. Initiated vertical shock absorber XXVA. It is it can be uh, it can be utilized in TCP uh, application to avoid destruction to packers, gauge, tubular, and adjacent gun string. It can be placed at the top uh, or the bottom of a gun string, and it is so long enough to act as a safety spacer. Also, XXVA is stuff as it's run in the hole. And remains stuff up till the explosive strip is start off. Immediately the guns fire, the XXX, the XXVA is then changed into an active shock absorber. Uh, so that is all the seven accessories of tubing covert fashion. So we move on to the next topic that is safety guideline uh, when working for the preferring uh, uh, condition. So there is pre-job safety meeting, uh, well site unloading of SOC device and post-job operation. So moving on for the first one, the pre-job safety meeting. First, uh, identification of well site hazards. So we need to know, we need to take a logical step before we starting the property condition, which we must be taken to eliminate any hazard that can be identified during the pre-job safety meeting. The hazard must be uh, eliminated from before we starting any operation. Next is explosive packaging. Any explosive material that need to be properly packaged uh, need to be properly packaged so we know which one is which, uh, and label well following the uh, the current regulation in the site. <coughs> and then is establish gun loading. Establish the location well where the gun will be loaded. <coughs> that is for pre-job safety meeting. 
Okay, we're moving on to the where side and loading of explosive device. First, designated side. All explosive material uh, must only be loaded within the designated area, within the safe uh, area. The loading side must be away from any source of heat or open flame. Uh, open flame is like uh, wedding activities that open, often happen uh, at the offshore side. <coughs> Next is warning sign. <laughs> Must be placed such as such as caution explosive or danger explosive at the deserted site, uh, which is uh, we know that people need to know that uh, the site is very dangerous and only for the authorities. And then housekeeping. Any remnant of explosive must not be mixed with a normal trash or normal waste. We must we must clean up uh, uh clean up all the remnant explosive after <coughs> after loading. And then lastly for the safety guideline is post operation after we do the stuff. First is handling remnant explosive. All remnant explosive like damage charge, misfire detonator must be placed into proper shipping container for transportation of the west side uh, go from the other side not uh, the normal side and then lastly is disposal trash all trash that associated with the operation must be collected and placed in desiderated uh, containers uh, like that. and then also transportation off from the west side Okay, that's all uh, from me, uh, the accessories and the safety guideline. We're moving on. Hi everyone, so we move to the next subtopic, which is the advantages and disadvantages of tubing conveyor operations. So let's move to the advantages. The first of advantages of TCP is uh, the long reservoir interval can be perforated by only one run. Second is when the perforation done within the underbalanced condition, it can minimize the damage of the formations. Third is can be run using uh, almost any tubular stream such as production tubing, drill pipe or coil tubing. It also have a more systematic operation because it does not uh, require killing the well after formation to run the downhole pump and a sucker root. Next is um, for wells that have uh, highly deviated, this tubing conveyor perforation is more suitable to use it. Okay, other than that, the advantages of tubing conveyor perforation also can be used under higher underbalance pressure drop safely, especially for testing high pressure uh, and hydrogen sulfide wells. Mm, the last ones of the advantages of tubing conveyor perforation is have ability to run the perforator on the ends of the tubing string and a longer or multiple intervals can be perforated on a single strip. Okay, for the disadvantages, the first is uh, this tubing conveyor perforation take a long time before the perforation charge will be discharged. The second is when the perforation drop after the discharge, uh, the sum need to be drilled bottomless to accommodate the gun length. Next is the misfire is extremely expensive. Uh, another disadvantage is uh, the short detections is more capricious, uh, means it's not suitable, not a stable. Okay. The next is the maximum gun diameter that can be used is restricted only by the inside diameter of the production casing. Okay. The cost of this system also is very expensive which almost 25% more than the other perforating techniques such as casing gun and tubing gun. And the last one of these advantages of tubing conveyor perforations is uh, for attaining proper detecting of gun firing and reducing uh, gun expo exposure time, it will require more enhancements. Okay. For the last subtopic in the tubing conveyor perforation is applications of TCP. We have 
five applications of the tubing conveyor operation. The first application is closed chamber search and test. In this closed chamber search, the well flow through the search chamber by using the string that provide a controlled search volume. The search chamber is initially run empty and then open to the formation by the lower tubing isolation valve. The second application is dual string multiple zone selective completion. In a permanent completion, all downhole hardware and guns including the completion string is conveyed into the well on the production tubing speed space so that the guns are opposite multiple zones and interest after the packer are set up. Okay, the third application is step in completion. Step in completion have a same uh, application in the stream through completions. So in a permanent completion, the gun are conveyed on the production tubing and stuck into the packer. Then the packer and the seal ball assembly are set on the wire line. And then the last one is the single trip operate and gravel pack. In this application, a well may be perforated and the gravel pack on a single trip into the well. The underbellum is generated by circulating a lighter fluid through the packer bypass. After firing, the guns automatically drop allowing the packing operation to begin. So that's all for the application.